Hey, by next week, the governor here in Florida says more people are going to be allowed to get a COVID-19 shot in our state. Starting one week from today, next Monday, we will be lowering the age in the state of Florida to 60 plus for, for vaccinations. And that will apply uh, across the board at all of the state pods, all of the pharmacies, uh, all of the different drive through sites uh, that are being operated. So that's going to open it up to a lot more people. The governor is saying demand is softened with so many seniors being vaccinated. So take a look at your screen. Who's a, here's who's allowed to get a shot starting next Monday. Anyone 16 up, if you work or live in a nursing home, if you're a law enforcement officer or firefighter 50 and up, or if you have a pre-existing condition that your doctor signs off on, you're good to go. Plus anyone who works at a K through 12 school or as a child care worker, just make sure you bring your ID badge with you as proof. Lowering the age limit to get a vaccine is only going to help us get out of this pandemic quicker, according to USF public health professor Dr. Edwin Michael, who's actually done modeling for the World Health Organization. He believes the state should go even lower than that. But if you really want to, you know, end the pandemic as fast as possible, then the vaccination should go to the 20 to 49 year olds because they are the people who are responsible for most of the transmission in the community not the older populations. Only about 350,000 people under 45 have gotten a shot in our state, but that's the group we're seeing most of the new cases coming from. Today's COVID report shows 3,300 new cases in our state. The median age, 39. Only 69,000 tests came back. That's actually the second lowest batch in more than a month. Our positivity rate was just under six. And new deaths do keep dropping, so that's good. 83 overall in today's report. Our two-week daily average for deaths has been falling for weeks now.